Age second is the only division size element that the Army has that can jump into a drop zone anywhere in the world. Uh, we can be wheels up from Fort Bragg in 18 hours with a package ready to go. So 82nd does a swift response exercise every year to continue to refine that capability. If we're jumping in somewhere overseas, we're most likely going to have our international partners with us. So again, just doing this keeps us ready for if we need to do it for real. And like I said, it just helps always to refine and enhance our international relations with our NATO partners. Direct delivery from the United States of uh, Joint Forcible Entry Force was one of the goals, but doing it in conjunction with our allies was another one. And so that's what we've been doing here at, in Romania. We've got our headquarters at MK Air Base, where we've got several nations represented within our combined headquarters. And all of those elements have been critical parts of this training exercise throughout. It's a good experience, like for me in my professional career, being able to gain credibility from my soldiers, saying like, yeah, I've, I've done this, I've jumped here. And I think it's just a great experience getting to know our allies, I guess. Like always, interoperability. Interoperability and we are uh, stronger together and I, I think that we are ready for future challenges here in Europe. These kinds of exercises are critical. When you look out and you see aircraft flying from five different allied countries and all the different parachutes coming down from all the different allies that participated, it drives it home, I think, how important this is and how much we can do.